one person, one year, one amazing transformation. And it all starts with him. My name's Chris Powell, and I specialize in amazing transformation. This right here is the shirt I used to wear. When it comes to the morbidly obese, Every time that you tell me you can't do something, I'm going to prove to you that you can. There's no one better. Most people would say, in a year, 250 pounds? That's nuts. Or is it? Meet Rachel, an elementary PE teacher who let her own weight get out of control. I've always been a pretty girl trapped inside a fat girl's body. Always. At only 21 years old, she'd given up on life. I had to change this. It was so embarrassing. Do whatever it takes. Go, go. Lucky go. for her, Chris is about to get her life back in control. Are you serious? Is this like a joke? In the next hour, you'll see the most important year of her life. It won't be easy. You are so Look what you can do. Bad. You'll see her do things she never dreamed she could. Yeah. All leading up to a final weigh in, 365 days in the making. I'm Rachel, I'm 21, and I am 220 pounds overweight. It makes me sick, honestly, because I feel like I'm a disappointment. No one else in my family is overweight. I am literally the elephant in the room. Like, I am the one who sticks out. I'm just kidding. Here. Thank you. Sit down. Thanks, Mom. Hi. When we sit down to eat, I eat what the family eats. We don't talk about how morbidly obese I am. Like, if I did ever go weigh myself, I would lie to my parents. I don't ever want to disappoint my parents. I feel like my whole entire life is a disappointment. It's like nothing that I do, I won homecoming queen. I won valedictorian. I have a trophy case full of trophies. None of that even seems like it could ever compensate for the fact that I am a disappointment because of my weight, and I don't think I could ever really make my parents proud until I t do lose this weight. Get him, get him. Ready? Begin. I want to hear you count. One, two, three. One, one, two, three, two. I am a PE teacher, believe it or not. I want to see 10 Perfect jumping jacks. Who can I get out there at 220 pounds overweight, and I get out there and tell kids how to exercise. OK, are you ready? Set, go. One, I got to hear you. Two, three, four. The statistics are against me. There's so many obese people that pass away because of complications because they're overweight. I need Chris to pick me for this because I don't want to be a statistic. I want this, and I need this more than anything. I'm outside Rachel's school where she teaches uh, little first graders PE, and she has she has no idea that I'm here. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay, stop. That was pretty good. Rachel, she's, she's the proverbial overachiever. She does everything so well. And the one thing that she just has not been able to conquer is her weight. She's struggled with it all of her life. And when she wrote into me and I read her letter, I just knew that she would be a perfect You're transformation. More than that. Oh, yes, um, we have a very special guest that's going to come in the class today. Oh, yes? His, his name is Mr. Chris. So everybody say, hey, Mr. Chris. <laughs> guess what? What? I choose you. I flew all the way across the country to get you. <laughs> Kids, I made it! <laughs> this means that I have a future. This means that I have a future, and I'm, I'm so ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Kids, we are going to be spending a lot of time together over the next year, and she's going to be doing a lot of P.E. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've got 12 months. Your life is going to change forever. I'm so excited. I'm, so excited. I'm excited for you. You ready to yeah. go? All right, yeah. guys. Give him a high five. So now that I surprised Rachel, 
The next step is boot camp. And within 24 hours, we're on a plane to Los Angeles for one week. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Do this. <laughs> boot camp is a one week crash course where I pull an individual out of the environment in which they got fat into a completely neutral environment where I can teach them everything that they need to know to transform. Well, welcome to the California Health Longevity Institute. Wow. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Good. I'm ready to get it going. I'm ready to get started. Like, let's go. Let's do this. So am I. I yeah. I'm ready to get it started. So along those lines, though, I need to know what I'm working with. I need to weigh you in. So what I want you to do is run upstairs, get changed, and I'm going to meet you in the back. All right. Sounds good. All right. Rachel doesn't realize it yet, but just due to her size, the Institute doesn't have a scale that can weigh her. And so we need to do it on the freight scales. I know I'm obese, but for me to have to stand there on a scale in a loading dock and weigh myself is unbelievable. Are you ready to face the scale? Yes, I am, because right. I'm ready to lose the weight. Take a deep breath. Three hundred and sixty-nine pounds. It's unbelievable. That's three people right there. No one should ever weigh that much. It's just my body. It's all the mistakes that I made and all the things that I've done to myself. You ready to do something about it? Yes, sir. I know that I'm never going to stand right here in this moment ever again and see that number. Never again. Never again. Never again. <laughs> I'm ready. So now we're going to go to the wellness kitchen where she's going to get a full crash course in nutrition. This is really Rachel's chicken and dumplings. Oh, <laughs> Anytime you get veggies going in here, it gives you volume without the right. calories. Right. The average woman in this country probably needs to be eating between 1,500 to 1,700 calories. The morbidly obese that we're seeing here are consuming approximately 3,500 to 6,000 calories. These little guys puffed up really I know, nicely. They got very big. Rachel's whole dish was easily over 1,000 calories, and her healthy version was 350 calories. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is banger looking good. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, it's time for that first workout. I will push her and push her and push her because I want to see if she's going to fight or if she's going to run. Breathe. Yeah. Get down into it and push. All those years that you struggled. <sighs> Always the black sheep. I was. Always the black sheep. <sighs> Let's go. Come on. Push, push, push. You do everything well. <sighs> Why can't you beat your weight? I'm about to find out, Anna. I am literally being pushed to the limit where I, I can't breathe. Can't you got this. Yes, you can. I'm about to fall. Three. No, you're not. Yes, Five, four, three, two, one. Hit stop. There. Good God. Show me what you got. Go, 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 go. Faster now. Faster. Give me 80. I know you got it in you. Give me 80. Get it up there. Get it up there. Get it up there, Rachel. I am. Get it up there. I'm Come on. You're not trying hard enough. I need 150% now. You're Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I can't bring yes, it you free. can. Yes, no. Don't you dare throw a temper tantrum right now. You are going to be fine. <laughs> Don't quit on me. Don't quit on me. Don't quit on me. Is that an option? No. No, it's not. It's not an option. You finish this fight. Whenever we commit to something, we do not stop halfway. You got a second chance at this right now. This is my, this is my first chance. I ain't never been skinny in my life. This isn't just one workout. This is the rest of my life. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to give up all my hopes and dreams. 
I'm going to be pushing myself like this every single day. This is for you. I'll do it for my freaking self. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to have to get for lap band surgery. <laughs> I'm so thankful. <laughs> she was so grateful for the opportunity and then just to push through it with more than she'd even pushed through the whole workout. It was the most in incredible thing that, that, that I've ever experienced. <laughs> That's a first for me. <laughs> this transformation is gonna be awesome. Coming up. Come on now. Go ahead. This is all trans fats. Out. Oh. Don't you throw those away. <laughs> Nobody needs to waste food. The support system is kind of falling apart. And later, See how she looks after one full year. So boot camp's all over, and it's time for me to take Rachel back to Atlanta. Before I even took Rachel home, I took her straight to a school track. And I wanted to bring her family in to meet her, but also to lock in this family unit, this family support system, so they could really, truly be compassionate and appreciate what it's like just to live a day in the life of Rachel. Well, if you can all step on over here, I'm gonna show you what we got going on today. You've heard the saying, to walk a mile in her shoes. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. I've actually got a lot of weight right here in sandbags. Okay. And so we're going to take you up to her weight, where she is right now, and I'm gonna give you the opportunity to walk around the track. Joyce, now. You can do it, you Mama. Can do it, I really wanted the family to see what it was like to experience 370 pounds. You ready? Yes, sir. All right. I've always hid my weight from my family, and to know that they were putting on all this extra weight just to support me. I mean, there's no telling what else they would do for me. Oh, there you go. I don't. Stay low. Something, isn't it? You yeah. okay? I'll be doing it with you, and I'm at the same weight, so. Yep. I know what you're feeling, dear. You ready? I'm ready, okay. I guess. One step at a time. That's what it takes. <laughs> Rachel's family is great, and they seem so supportive. But Rachel has somehow gained over 250 pounds in this family. And so really making sure that the family is there through this transformation, that's of utmost importance. They are the support group. I thought I was going to jog, but Rachel, I don't think I can. Yeah, you can. We only did it for, what, a quarter of a mile, and she does it everywhere. Way to go. <laughs> Way to go. Way to go. Right. I didn't know it was like that. What an appreciation, huh? Yep. Well, let's get in there. All right. Go team, Team Rachel. We are a family. We are a team now. I mean, we will make it through this. We will make a lifestyle change for our whole entire family. Okay. How great is it to finally be home? It's absolutely wonderful. I'm so excited because while we were at boot camp, I completely transformed Rachel's house to accommodate her new lifestyle. <laughs> I turned the rec room, which was the room that she gained so much weight in, into a home gym. <sighs> Welcome home, Rachel. <laughs> this is your gym. This is where your transformation is going to happen. You've got all the tools that you need to transform. You've got all of your dumbbells. You've got your bands. you got your bench. you got your stepping machine. you got your treadmill, just so you can switch up your cardio. This is dumbbells. where I'm going to be working my butt off. I love it. So there's more. Come on over here. So your transformation is essentially going to be done in, in different 90-day phases. So in three months, I need you to lose. You I'm ready? ready? I already have a number in my head. I'm ready to see what you... Do. 80 pounds. It's a big number. I was a little nervous, but I'm not doing this, you know, 80 pounds at a time. I'm doing this one pound at a time. I will reach that 80-pound goal. I mean, I have no doubt about it. That's gonna be right before my birthday, so I'm gonna be 22 in the twos. Happy birthday. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I can definitely do one better than that. I know you spent your whole life in Georgia and you've always wanted to travel to Europe. So, if you hit that, your present 
from me to you, it's gonna be a trip to Greece. Are you serious? Yes. Yes. Dang, I like it. I always wanted to go there. That's yes. my goal. I'm gonna meet that goal. Of course you are. <laughs> I do not believe that. For the next three months, I'm moving in with Rachel and her family. Which means early morning wake up calls. All right. <laughs> That's a great way to wake up. Isn't that fantastic? Good. And grueling workouts three times a day. Come on now. What's this about? <laughs> what are you thinking about? Good. I'm thinking of one of us that late. Good. Things are going great. She's already down 39 pounds. There is no way she's going to miss this goal. Yes. I look so good. That skirt when I first got it was so tight on me. And now it's like almost falling off my hips. Rachel, she's so she's so determined to get this done. I mean, Rachel's down almost 60 pounds now in 60 days, which is incredible. The only thing I worry about now is that I'm starting to have some doubts about the family again. So um, I just got home a few minutes ago, and I walked into the kitchen, and then I was like, I've got to share this with everyone, because this is what I go through every single day. Sour cream, some cheese, flour tortillas, and top of meat. Rachel's on a strict diet of 1,500 calories that's portioned into specific meals every three hours. And here we got her family bringing in pizza and soda, and like last night, it was taco night. I have not cheated yet, and I just want to keep being able to say that. I couldn't believe it this morning. We're in the gym doing Rachel's morning workout, and her mom comes in and asks us to stop because we're being too loud. Before I leave, we need to sit down and have a really serious talk about what's coming up next for Rachel. Hello? How are you feeling? Pretty good. I'm hoping for a big celebration. <laughs> My heart is like racing. Yeah. The last time that you stepped on a scale with me, you were 369 pounds. And I gave you the goal to lose 80 pounds in the first three months. So if this scale says 289 pounds or less, you hit that goal. I can send you to Greece. Yeah. <laughs> you know. All right, Rachel, step on the scale. Time that you stepped on the scale with me, you were 369 pounds, and I gave you the goal to lose 80 pounds in the first three months. So if this scale says 289 pounds or less, you hit that goal. Rachel, I am so sorry. I'm not sending you to Greece today, but I am going to send you in about three weeks. <laughs> 289. You lost 80 pounds. On the dot. I know. Oh my God! Yay! <laughs> you are going to Greece. My heart is being so fast. This really is going to be my year. I'm changing everything. I'm not taking the easy way out anymore. I actually am starting to love myself a little. Let's go tell the fam. <laughs> it's a good feeling. She did it. I did it. She did it. <laughs> Eighty pounds in twelve weeks. You're going to Greece. <laughs> Congratulations. Ah. I'm so happy for Rachel because she hit her goal, but immediately I got word because the family support, it's just not there and, and I'm leaving. So I wanted to get everybody together so they can talk about it and just air it out. I saw the dynamic of the family starting to change a little bit as far as like adopting some of these healthier lifestyles and then quickly it went right back to the way it was. I do complain whenever I hear you in the gym in the morning waking me up. Six o'clock, bang, bang, bang. bang. Moaning and screaming and hollering and... You know, if we want to say that we want to do this as a family, well, let's say it and let's do it. But let's don't, let, let's don't not say it and then act like that's where we should be. Her dad just starts trying to explain something, and I'm confused. I have no idea where he's going with this. Until finally I said, look, let's stop talking the talk and let's just walk the walk. This is all trans fats. Out. Oh. Get it gone. Yeah. Out. Get that out. Sausage? Don't you throw those away. Dangerous. French fries, that's good. Yep, gone. My mama started freaking out. All righty. 
Uh, uh, Nobody needs to waste food. Don't worry about the money. Right now, I'm more worried about your health. She needs to realize that her life is going to change, and it's going to start with the kitchen for her. French onion dip. There you go. The oatmeal. Triscuits. Awesome. You know the drill. All right. Somebody's not where we are at yet. Hang on just a minute. All right. To have somebody walk into their life and tell them that that lifestyle is actually hurting you more than it's helping you, it's threatening to Rachel's mom. And that's the last thing I want. We all want the same thing. We all want Rachel's family to be happy and healthy and to have this incredible future together. Next thing we're going to do, stock it up, make sure you got all the right foods in the house. Phase one is done, and it's time for, for Rachel to, to take this momentum and carry it on into phase two. And for the next three months, I do have a goal for you. Okay. Your six-month goal is going to be to lose 55 pounds. 55 pounds. It may seem so easy compared to the 80 pounds, but we're getting down to the nitty-gritty. This is the next phase. For your phase two goal, um, I call it a milestone, and it's it's a physical milestone where you actually get to appreciate and, and, and experience this new body that you've been working on. We're going to climb a mountain, Mount Whitney in California. And so you want to be 234 right. pounds or less. It's not set in yet that he's that I'm doing this on my own now. And I have that nervousness in the pit of my stomach. I believe in you. Bye. Because when I'm usually by myself, I tend to quit. You got this, Rachel. But I'm going to go into it, and I'm going to give it my all, and I'm going to do my best to meet this next goal and then get ready for my milestone. Dad's gonna love these. Can you remember the last time I had a real vacation? And now I'm getting to spend it in Greece with my brother, and I get to spend it at 289 pounds. Cheese. Beautiful. Is that a good one? Yeah. It's just such a beautiful place. I just want to learn and I want to experience, you know, the whole thing. And we could get a Greek salad without the olives. It was extremely hard to eat while on vacation. To enjoy everything? You have to go out to eat every single meal. What do you think mom and daddy and them are doing at home? They've actually been doing a lot better when it comes to eating. Especially daddy. He's already dropped like 15 pounds, I think. And then they bring us out these complimentary desserts. Oh my gosh. I, I can't eat it. it. Hey, you're going to hurt their feelings if we don't eat it. Please eat it. No. Why are you being a jerk? I'm not, how am I being a jerk? Because you're not eating it. Because I'm not going to eat it in front of you when you can't eat it Look, yourself. I'll turn my head. No, Rachel. It, it, seriously, it does not bother me. No, Rachel. It was extremely difficult and kind of threw me for a loop. We don't do desserts anymore. Today was not the greatest day I've ever had. All I know is my foot has been in pain. The arch of my foot right here, like from my heel all the way up here, gets so tight. So I have to take this thing and wrap it daggum as tight as I can. It's just really difficult to have these injuries and to be trying to get to a certain point and being held back by that. Rachel in three months, and today is the day of the six-month weigh-in, and I can't wait to see her. Hello. Rachie. When she was walking up, she looked good. She's just got this big, beautiful smile on her face, and it's it's so cool to see how fast she's she's changing. I haven't seen you in three months. How have you been? I mean, right now I'm good. There's some mornings I woke up and I could hardly even get it. Like, I go to walk and I can't even walk, so I just sat back on the bed and waited till my foot, like, quit hurting well, that bad. I got to talk to you about that, because before we weigh you in, I've got some bad news for you. I, uh, I talked to Dr. Shaq, and the results came in from your x-ray, and you've got tendonitis and a nasty case of plantar fasciitis in, in your foot. Yeah. Because of that, we're not going to be climbing Mount Whitney. But what we do have planned is an awesome hike. Oh, God. Up to the bridge to nowhere. And as soon as we get to that bridge, we're going to jump off of it. What we do have planned 
is an awesome hike. Oh, God. Up to the bridge to nowhere. And as soon as we get to that bridge, we're going to jump off of it. Serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I wanted to come up with another milestone that's meaningful for her to take that proverbial leap of faith. It's going to challenge her, but at the same time, it will have a deeper emotional impact than anything. Have you ever been bungee jumping before? <laughs> I've never done anything like that before in my life. This bridge is no joke. The bridge is 40 stories high. It's going to be a several hundred foot drop. It's time to take the leap. All right, well, let's, let's see what the scale says. The last time I saw you, you weighed 289 pounds at the end of phase one. Yeah. And I gave you the goal to lose 55 pounds in the last three months for phase two. Now, if this scale says 234 pounds or less, you hit your goal. Mm -hmm. well, that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me, <laughs> me too. You didn't need your goal. 239 pounds. You lost 50 pounds. I know. You didn't lose 55, but you lost 50 pounds. When I first started this thing, I kept telling myself, I'm not going to miss any goals. No and to miss it by five pounds. But then again, I'm happy, though. Because <laughs> I know now what to do. Like, I'm going to learn from it, and I'm going to go on to my next phase, and I'm going to kill it. It was easy for me to find the positive in seeing 239. I started at 369. That's 130 pounds in six months. That is unbelievable. The good news is that the weight limit to make the jump is 250 pounds. So you can still do it, but I'm going to leave it up to you. I want to do it because it scares me. That's what I want to hear. We got a hike and a jump to make. All right, let's go. Let's hit the trail. You getting nervous? Um, I've been nervous since the very beginning. <laughs> there it is. Oh, my gosh. You still going to jump, Rachie? My heart is, like, <laughs> pounding out of my freaking chest. Oh, my God. Let's go. When I saw that bridge, immediately I was overwhelmed with fear. Oh my gosh, wow. I am like shaking. <laughs> Everything kind of gets oh put into perspective God. very quickly. I, I was absolutely scared to death because I am about to jump off this bridge. Like, it was no joke. Dear Lord, OK. Can we get geared up? Yeah. Both feet over. When it actually came time to do it, I'm thinking, am I actually going to be able to do this? They can't leap of faith. Because when you exceed the weight limits, you don't ever depend on anything, chairs, nothing, because you'll break them. Five. And I'm like, four. OK, these cords are going to snap. Three. But yet, here I am. I don't know. My mind just took over. Two, one, Benji! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah! I don't even know if I blinked. Even when I was going straight towards the ground, I never blinked. And I'm coming back up, and I'm just keep looking at it. And it was just the most amazing feeling. Oh, oh my God. That was beautiful, beautiful. Six months ago, there's no way this would have even been an option for me because. Great job. There are weight limits to certain things, and I exceeded those weight limits. Oh, my Damn. God. <laughs> <laughs> That was freaking amazing. <laughs> this is one of the best days of my life. Really? Yep. I put trust into these bungee cords, and I put trust in myself. And that is the main thing that I've got to learn these next three months is trust. So phase three has officially begun. I'm ready. You're 239 right now. By the end of phase three, I need you to be as close to 50% of your starting weight as you can, meaning you need to lose between 50 and 60 pounds okay. in order to be a candidate for the skin removal surgery. So that's going to be your phase three goal. Oh, my goodness. That means I get to get this removed. All right, let's get out of here. Yes, sir. All right. I'm about 8.7 miles into my run. Orange rub crawl. You see that? 
I love running. Like, I want to push myself. I feel honestly like I'm unstoppable sometimes. Like, I'll get in the gym and just tear it up. I'm pretty much a beast, I'm not gonna lie to you. The closer we get to the weigh-in, it kept getting harder and harder and harder. Working out is not my problem because I've been getting between four and five hours every single day. And then I come home, I eat, I don't even know. Everything has just been kind of out of control. the nine month mark, I think it's a good idea for my people to, to see exactly how far they've come over the last nine months and just give them that, that glimpse at how much that they've transformed. Arriving here at CHLI after losing all this weight is a whole new experience. Hello, hello. The first time I came here, I was a completely different person. Rachy Bug. <laughs> now I'm coming in here with a whole new outlook on life. I'm healthy as a horse right now, you know, healthy as I've ever been. Gotta reach a little higher. I know with those heels. <laughs> Unbelievable. She looks incredible. But I'm not exactly sure she lost as much as I had expected. Well, we are here for the nine month weigh in. Okay. So let's see how the last three months have been. Sounds good. All right. Hello. Well, here we are again. It's the big nine month weigh in. You know, last time I weighed in. You, you were 239 pounds. And I give you the goal to be around 50% of your starting weight, which means you have to lose approximately 50 pounds or to be around 190 pounds. To get you as low as we possibly can in order to get the surgery. Oh my gosh. Ready to step on the scale? Yes, sir. All right. So, you know, last time I weighed you, you were 239 pounds. And I give you the goal to be around 50% of your starting weight, which means you have to lose approximately 50 pounds or to be around 190 pounds. We need to get you as low as we possibly can in order to get the surgery. Are you ready? Yes. All right. When I see three pounds, my first thought is, you just screwed yourself out of surgery. What happened? I don't even know what to say right now. When I got back home, the first thing I did was I went and got groceries. And I went and portioned my food and put it all in my room. And then as every single day went on, when the food ran low, of course, I would just eat whatever. I mean... Whatever was available? You still have all these pressures on you, and I know you have to learn how to deal with them, but sometimes I would feel overwhelmed. <laughs> and when it came down to it, it was all nutrition. It wasn't going to the gym and working out because I was putting in my freaking time. I don't care what anybody says. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> Thank you for telling me about it. This last phase, it got gotcha. you. Tomorrow we'll go see Dr. Stoker, and uh, we'll let him make the decision. Okay. Well, you have quite a bit of loose skin with fat attached to it, but primarily loose skin in this area. Sometimes large amounts of extra skin rubbing and creating friction can inhibit them from losing extra weight, and that can discourage them. This feels very thin. It's pretty empty flesh right. here. It's always a delicate balance whether you hold off and make the patient lose as much weight as you think they can, or whether you help them at that time. Okay. Well, the question really is, is it the right thing for you now or not? I think that you're an excellent candidate for surgery. Physically, you're a good candidate, but I want to make sure that from a global perspective right. that it's the right thing for you in your life right now. So, 
So I'll step out and give you guys a few minutes to chat, okay? All right. Thanks, Doug. All right. Hey. So I'm a little bit conflicted just because you lost three pounds in the last three months and, and I don't want to stop now. Right. I'm happy for her because I can see that she needs the surgery, but at the same time, I don't want her to go into the surgery and come out thinking that she's done because she's not. So, I completely give my blessing okay. with this surgery. And I think it'll be fantastic. Remove those psychological barriers. Remove the skin. It's getting in your way. But we're not done. Yes. Yes, it's gonna happen. <laughs> I just cannot believe it. Like, I've never in my life ever looked down and saw a flat stomach. Never. And to know that I'm gonna have one. <laughs> Makes me very happy. Oh my gosh. You had a front row seat to the transformation. How was it? She's tough. Yeah. You let me come into your kitchen <laughs> and throw everything out. And I, I know it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy for anybody. I'm just so proud of you. <laughs> A big difference. When her mom told her how proud she was of all the hard work and determination and dedication that Rachel has shown over the last nine months, that is worth more to her than anything. Thanks, Mom. Good luck. I love Thanks. you. I love you too. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Love you. I love you. <laughs> when you see me at my final weigh-in, we are good to go. I'm gonna be that thin, beautiful Rachel that I've always seen on the inside, and everybody else is finally gonna get to see what I've been seeing all along. For those of you who don't know me, I specialize in transformation. Now, it was just over a year ago that I received a letter from Rachel, and she was asking me for help. She is the, the proverbial overachiever. And at 21 years old, she set out to conquer the one thing that she couldn't her whole life. Now, of course, when we first started out, I sat down with the family, and I want to thank you because I know it wasn't easy adopting the changes in the lifestyle. But you guys changed, and it was your change that helped facilitate her change. And, Joyce, you lost over 50 pounds. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Well, who's ready to see Rachel? Well, she's on her way here right now. Her transformation, it's breathtaking. Please put your hands together and meet the new Rachel. Ready to see Rachel. Woo! Oh, does she look different? All right, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and meet the new Rachel. finally beat the one thing that you've battled all of your life. Finally. <laughs> What's next? 
I don't know, the world? Let's see, let's try to conquer that. <laughs> and you know what? And now you know that you can. Yep. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Well, it's the final way in. You ready? I am. Take off your shoes. You know the drill. Breath. I feel like the most disgusting person in the world. You ready to do something about it? Yes, sir. You're not trying hard enough. I can't freaking do it! Whenever we commit to something, we do not stop halfway. This is for you. I'll do it for my freaking self. <laughs> on that stage today was the absolute proudest moment of my life. 161 pounds lost in one year. I mean, it blows my mind. Can I just tell you, I have had the best trainer in the whole entire world who took me in and taught me everything I needed to know. And when I was younger, I'd always pray. I would know what it would feel like to be skinny. And I'd always be like, Lord, just let me know what it feels like. Thank you. <laughs> Your confidence in me helped me to have confidence in myself. And what we have gone through this past year, I will never forget. I will be grateful to you for the rest of my life. You gave me a future. It was just that little key to unlock your potential, and, and you found it. And I'm just, I am so proud of who you have become. Aww.